When this whole idea first started, it was very fluid. My parents just sort of decided that the house was getting a bit too old and a bit unwieldy for them to take care of. And so we thought this would be an opportunity to do up the place, which, you know, to the point where we would do it once and, and live here for maybe the next 15, 20 years. I've known Prakash since junior college, where we were just hanging out in his bedroom, jamming. Even when we were both in the army, we, we went out in the weekends. So I, I know him very well. Yeah, so there was some instant chemistry <laughs> and understanding <laughs> yes. um, in terms of what he could bring to the table and, and what we needed. This old house had a memory for me, so I had a reference when I designed the new place because I knew what his old place was like, what could be improved. This courtyard brings light to the living room as well as to the dining space. And when opened, this courtyard allows um, ventilation to come through the space and allows the space to be shared with both the living and the dining room at the same time. Our parents, when they first saw the courtyard, they, they absolutely loved it. Uh, they were very excited because I think it's the first time they'd walked into their house and seen like the space that opens up. We wanted to merge the dining area and part of the kitchen so that we could cook a little bit, we could host in the same space. Um, so the island was important. This is actually forest green marble from India. And we chose it because of the veins, the texture, um, the colours of it. This being the sort of uh, sculptural object in the middle of the dining space um, is also uh, enhanced by having these timber strips behind. So these timber strips give a sort of rhythm to the house and also has a hidden secret powder room. Inside the house, I picked out two different colour palettes. The ground floor has lots of woody, earthy kind of tones, so a lot of browns. So I worked a lot with turquoise and orange tones for the second floor. It's not an experience that I think most people go through when they're shopping or trying to furnish a house, but I think it just made the whole process for us even more personal and unique. The top floor of this house is actually the attic floor, and the entire master bedroom takes up this top floor. I believe a house should be designed to be inhabitable, comfortable, so you're not afraid to make it uh, slightly messy when you live in it so that you know it supports living. Absolute favourite would have to be the living room just because this is where we spend most time with the entire family. Even just as a couple, we sit here when the kids are asleep, we get to watch a movie or have a drink and chat. I also am personally very proud of the playroom and the kids' room. I think seeing their reactions when they first came here, I could see them squeal in delight. That's very special to me. It is just the most personal, individual, unique house that I've ever been in. I feel proud that my parents got it years ago, and then now I have a chance with Charlene to sort of make that our family home. And it's something that we then one day hope to be able to give to our kids as well. Yeah.